Hi guys, happy Friday. Hello. Happy, happy Friday. Well, today we're going to do a project. Hi Margaret. Hello Karen. Hi Teresa. Happy Friday, Linda Kay. Today we're going to do a project um, that's kind of crazy and wild and fun and unexpected. I have my beverage of choice. While it is Wine Friday, it's not wine in my cup. Instead, it is a very vacationy drink called Malibu and Pineapple. Hi, Christine. Hi, Carol. Hi, Janet. Hi, Jane. Hi, Mary Carol. TGIF. Hello, Mary. Hi, Dion. I know. Yay, happy Friday, New York City, Maryland. Hi, Liz. Hi, Carol. Hello, Serena. Cheers, everybody. It's a double. I just started sipping, so I should be fine. Um, and I don't think I'll get through the whole thing during this project. <laughs> that is my disclaimer. Hi, Cindy. And yes, happy Friday. Yay, Jane. Okay. So now, I was inspired by one of my uplines, her name is Brenda, and she created this really amazing vintage truck cutout with our awesome March Club Couture transfer. So I wanna share with you, if you are not a club member, you can get all the information by typing club in the comments um, because at this moment, only club members will have the wild and free transfer, okay? So that's important to know. If you would like the wild and free transfer, um, I'll show you one of my other projects that I did with it. This was the um, original wild and free that I did. But if you love that, and you see what we do today and you love this. Adding that Club Couture subscription to your order is super easy. You go to the website. Um, you go to my website. <clears throat> you type club in the comments and it's gonna pull you up to the website. You can add it to your cart for $19.99. You're gonna get the transfer plus three chalk paste singles um, in the colors that I showed you the other day. And um, every month you'll get a new project kit for just $19.99. You don't have to pay shipping on those kits. And you get special promos. So this month, our club members get 25% off a um, bundle of chalk paste. So that's kind of cool. Um, and that's if you are not a club member. If you are a club member, you are already gonna have this. You can pick up some of the other things like the vintage truck wooden cutout and the other pieces that I'm gonna show you. Um, and those are in the cart link that I pinned. So it's in the comments above pinned, whether you're on YouTube or on Facebook. You should be able to see those. <sighs> Carol, no, agreed. I'm not gonna change for anybody. Oh, Highland Gale. Fresh pineapple from Hawaii, right, Carrie? This is very delicious. Now it is dull pineapple juice. So it may be from Hawaii. It also may not be. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I posted in my VIP group where you can find those. And Janet, yay, you got your cutouts and your creamy, dreamy paste. I love it. Shipping to Canada does take a little longer. Awesome, Teresa, yay. Yes, so, so many people have good things to say about our club. So that's that. I just wanted to give you a disclaimer on what we're working on today, the club, all of that stuff. Um, everything I'm using today is brand new. So 
I'm going to show you how all of this stuff works and what actually comes in. This is our vintage truck cutout accessory pack. Just throw that over there. It'll get recycled. And don't worry about the mess. These are wooden blocks that you can chalk on that are a nice, hardy, thick wooden block. And your truck actually can sit right on it. Okay, so it kind of looks like that when it's done. And you get two of the wooden blocks. Now these wooden blocks, you can chalk, um, okay, hold please. Still a little disorganized. You can chalk on all the sides if you want. So you can rotate your stop your stuff um, for the season, or you can chalk on one side, leave the top and bottom blank, and chalk on the back side. That way your truck does not actually stand on a chalked side. Okay, then we have these awesome filler parts. Now you get two of these for front and back, and truth be told, the fillers and the blocks have their own transfer. This is called the Vintage Truck Add-On All Seasons. Autumn, um, winter, like summer and fall, like whatever you want. Farm Fresh Produce, so we have pumpkins and... Um, watermelon and then love we have all the hearts and then we have this uh, pine tree kind of like Christmas tree so um, lots of things that you can do with the add-on and the pumpkins and the watermelon actually fit on the curvy the curvy block okay one goes this way one goes, yeah, they both go the same way, okay. No, one go, yeah, one goes this way, one goes that way. So it flips, oh, you can't even see, I'm sorry. It goes this way for the pumpkins, this way for the watermelons. And so you'll have double-sided on there. And then when it comes to the hearts in the tree, we're going to do the hearts goes this way and the tree goes that way okay so um it's kind of like the more pointed one is for the hearts in the tree and then the rounded one is for the watermelon and the everything else we are not playing with this today so i'm going to set it back here so i don't it doesn't get in my way and we are only using one of these today. But what I am gonna use, I dropped a whole lot of stuff today. Oh my gosh. All right, so what's falling right now? My quick dry tool. <clears throat> oh, Carol, thank you. I appreciate that. I I saw the one and then I saw more people doing it and I'm like, I have to do that. Awesome. Thank you, Wendy Lynn. Hi, Heidi. Hello. All right. So we are going to use our new vintage truck. Sorry about that. Um, both way Vintage truck duo because it goes both ways. Um, ha ha ha, no pun intended. Um, you can have your truck facing this way and you can do something different with it facing the other way. Okay, so it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, for example, I'm going to do the wild and free on here facing one way. And then on the opposite direction, I can do something summery 
like with the watermelons or something or whatever for a completely different look, you know, moving forward through the summer. Or maybe, maybe it would be, I would do something um, like patriotic or something like that. So I think... I think I want it going that way. So what I'll do is I'll cut this apart on the cut lines. <coughs> oh my goodness. All of a sudden, I just got like a tickle in my throat. Nothing Malibu and pineapple can't cure. All right, so it even tells you this is A1, so you're going to use this one first. Um, excuse me, you're going to use um, <coughs> oh wait, this is different. Hold on. I'm going to set this over here because I'm not using it. So a long, long time ago, when this first came out, you had to do this first and you're like, where does it even go? They redesigned it. Okay. I'm a little, I know I'm a little blonde, but I haven't used this yet and I haven't looked at it. So this is actually different than our original vintage truck. Our original vintage truck was like clear, like this whole thing was, there were no lines. So you'd had to do this first, but you didn't know where to line it up. <clears throat> now you do this first and that one second. <gasps> awesome. Did you guys notice that? <clears throat> Working Connie. <gasps> Shh. Okay. So. If you never noticed that, you and I apparently aren't paying attention to details. I did, Amy Crosswell. I made it to Friday. I'm so excited. Cheers. Oh, thank goodness. And it's been a good day. I've gotten a lot accomplished already. Um, I'm not going to lie. I did a lot of work in my pajamas before I, before I got ready for the day. Um, in fact, I may have just gotten ready about an hour ago, but one thing led to another, led to another, led to another, and then I was on a roll. Um, okay. Before I forget, yesterday we did the, he is risen, the watercolor, um, in the box frame with the cute little bow. This is still a bundle that I have that I can, um, package right after my live and ship it right out to you. Um, and because it's shipping from me, it will be quick and you'll have it in time for your, um, spring Easter decor. Uh, it's an inexpensive one. It's just a five by seven. All you have to do is type box in the comments to check it out. It doesn't have the, um, the picture like it normally does. It has a photo, um, but it doesn't have the price on it. So you have to click yes to see the price. Like you have to click to go see the price. Um, and then you can back out of it or um, purchase it. And that's what that is. That's the box that I introduced yesterday. Okay. Now. Um, I think I should wax this just lightly. You know what? Um, maybe I throw away, oh no, it's right here. All right, so we're going to use our surface wax. I have a brand new one here and I'm like, I don't know if I need that yet. I still have a tiny bit left in here, but I am going to grab a new cloth so that I can... Um, and I'll show you what I do. 
I just take a regular washcloth that I use as like a, a rag down here and I cut it into fourths like an old washcloth or whatever you have. So once you have it cut into fourths, you take that fourth and you fold it into fours and that is the perfect size to go in your container and to do the waxing. So really easy. And then I just use the heck out of it. I use all of the sides. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. You know, you can unfold it and fold it in different ways. Um, this is just a little bit of my grandma in me where I'm trying to be frugal and, you know, use things that I have and use it in the best way possible. So I have a, I have a funny story it is a um, it is a story that I love to tell because um, just because of who my grandma was. So I'm gonna tell the story. She was like the sweetest thing and always very ingenious when. Um, out of necessity, she had to invent something or she had to fix something. So she was, um, you know, tall for the time when she grew up. I think she was 5'7 or 5'8, um, which is pretty tall, long arms. And um, every time she bought a coat that she liked, the arms were too short. So she would take a old sweatshirt and cut the sleeves off and sew them into her coat so that it had like a longer sleeve that would keep her warm. Um, so she was always doing things to, um, you know, out of necessity, she would just do that. Well, she moved at one point from her home, which was a house, into a, um, like a retired citizen's apartment building. So she lived on her own in her own apartment. Um, and it was the tiniest little one bedroom, one bathroom little place. And it was so cute. And she lived there for many, many years. But when she first moved in, she had the tiniest little kitchen. Like it was an L shape. Um, the floor was like, could be no more than like, five by seven. You walk in and the refrigerator, a tiny little counter, the stove or the sink and the, yeah, I can't even remember now where the stove and the sink was. Oh, the stove was over here and the sink was here and it doesn't matter. But she, she wanted to put a little border up in her kitchen. Um, on the, you know, the, the wall, a wall border, you know, they were very popular in the eighties and nineties. So that's what she wanted to do. And, um, <laughs> so she thought that her decorative paper towels were just adorable. And it had this beautiful, long, when you unroll it, design that would be beautiful as a wallpaper border. So she took her roll of paper towels, cut out very delicately the design that was in the middle, and she glued it with whatever wallpaper glue she used. <clears throat> And I think it was like hearts, like a very country kitchen, like hearts and whatever. And she did that border and it was straight and it looked lovely, but it was pink towel and it remained in her apartment for as long as she lived there. Years and years. I mean, she moved there. I'm going to say I was in elementary, maybe middle school age. And um, 
And so I was like, maybe, let's say she, I was 10. And she lived there until I was 25. So over 15 years, she had that wallpaper border made out of um, paper towel. And um, that's just one of those stories that I think is, it's endearing to say the least. You know what I'm saying? Out of necessity and frugal, right? Like she grew up in a different time <clears throat> through, you know, the depression and what have you. So she made use of it. I mean, everything. I think my favorite thing about grandma's house was her button box. I just like to go through the button box. It was a metal tin, just full of buttons that I could play with. Cut from every, you know, old shirt or, um, you know, how you get extra buttons on your clothes sometimes. All right. So fun. That was story time for today. Now I need a drink. Oh, Chris, you got your bunnies in the mail. That is exciting. <gasps> well, hello from Jamaica. The sun is shining and I'm super happy. It is sky. It, I have the old transfer too. And this one is, it is a game changer. You don't have to guess where you want to put this. So I'm just kind of lining it up. That's a little bit much. I think we're good. I've got it on here. Pretty nice. Now, my truck, the body and everything that I'm gonna do, we're gonna do in Storm. Um, it's a nice neutral color. Happy Friday, Dawn Harper and Michelle. Oh, seriously, Dion, like the sweetest, oops. She was the sweetest ever, honestly. And I just, um, you know, I'm super glad to have memories like that. Um, and then, you know, my mom hasn't done quite stuff like that quite yet. She has done some crazy things, but not quite as crazy as that. And you know, she, all she had was time, right? She was retired and, um, and, and very crafty. Like my family is very crafty. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. So that is a story I love to tell about my grandma. Because who would do that? Who else would do that? You know, and, and these days, I don't think people are as creative with their the things that they need. You know, like we're such a society of, if it's broke, throw it away. If the arms are too short, get a new one, you know, whatever. It's just, um, we don't often problem solve like people used to. So just interesting. I am using Storm Chalk on the truck. And you know what I should have done? Darn it, I forgot. Um, but I can do it after. I forgot to sand. I wanted to sand everything on here. I can do it after I do the gray. All right, so it looks like that looks good. Now we're gonna let it dry. I'll help it along. I'll use the quick dry tool a little bit after I get this transfer good and clean. And 
and I will do a bunch of sanding on that. I really did mean to sand it all first and then I got to chatting and I forgot. Okay, so it might be a little off, but so am I, right? I think we could learn a lot from our grandmas. I think you're right. You use what you have and you never get rid of anything. I have my grandmother's buttons. That's, I think my sister has my grandmother's buttons. I didn't get any of that stuff. Oh, you're welcome, Pam. Awesome. So we are just going to dry this. And while I'm drying it, I want you to know that um, if you're new, you haven't joined my free crafting group yet. You can do that by typing add me into the comments and I will send you, I totally got this crooked. It'll be all right. Um, at least it's mine and not yours, right? But just type add me into the comments and I'll get you invited into the group. Oh, Carol, I, I'm sorry for your loss, number one, but I bet. I, there are so many things that um, especially older people keep because they could fix them or find a use for it. And nowadays, people are just like, buy a new one, toss it out. I think the way of the small appliance repairman has gone by the wayside. We don't have, like, you pay 50 bucks for a small appliance, it, it breaks, and we don't fix it. Things aren't made the way they used to be, though. That is also, oh, I'm just sick that I got this so crooked. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. It's not wrong, it's rustic. It's completely crooked. It's totally crooked. There's like a huge space here. It's like going up a hill. If you really want to know. So we just need to get this dried. Because I need to sand the edges. I keep forgetting you have to do it at an angle. Forty-five degrees to be exact. And it will be rustic when I'm done. Maybe I'll turn it on high. It's kind of loud when it's high though. Oh, but it works much faster. Okay, turn it over and do the other. I totally could, but then I would waste, waste side of my truck. So, I'm going to get my sanding block. And we are going to sand this truck as best we can. And if some of it comes off, it's, it's, it's fine. I'm sanding away. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Take a sip. Oh, Michelle, that is like the sweetest. What a great idea. That would be like so fun. Even like on your wedding, like for your wedding, your grandma could make you a button box and you could have it and it would be like, you finally graduated to getting your own button box. 
I do have a button box of my own. Um, but it's not as big as, it's not as big or cool as hers. And she had like vintage buttons in there. And we used to just, as kids, come over and just play with them, play with those buttons. Yikes. Chalk catastrophe. Pay attention to what I'm doing when I'm making a mess and then it gets everywhere. I need to be better at preparing for these messes. Okay, so so far all we did was what you normally do with the vintage truck. We, we um, did the outline. Okay, Got my slanted driving uphill truck. Now, we are going to apply the layover The old truck will work on the cutouts. Yes, it's just a different design. And yes, Jane, I did wax first. If you did it, should wash off. I could have washed it off, you're right. But I feel like it would just be a waste of time at this point. I, it'll be okay. I know it's not perfect. It'll be all right. It's all my fault. I had to get my, oh, uh-huh, the electric sander. Did you get one? You're right, Carol. It probably doesn't matter at all anyway. Um, I'm really sad that I think some of my things are vintage, <laughs> which makes me a little bit older than I want to be. Um, the fact that my daughter wears clothes that we wore in like the late 80s and the early 90s makes me really like cringe cringe the baggy jeans the like envelope pants <laughs> there's so many things and all the tie-dye Oh, you should take some of those buttons. Thank you, Madeline. Thank you so much. All right, so now I'm just gonna line this up and it makes it pretty easy to line up because those circles and up here. All right, so now I'm actually going to um you can see so I just want you to be aware you can see through the screen so I have flowers and um we're gonna use Guava eucalyptus um, 
and I was going to use um, a little bit of a uh, peachy keen, but I don't have the new one. So I grabbed this shimmer melon because it's really close to peachy keen. And I'm just going to start going to town. We'll start with the peachy, the melon, the shimmer melon. And I may need to switch from a mini squeegee to a tiny. <laughs> I might have to grab my um, little tool. Gosh, why? I have completely messed up the tool names. This little thing. So you can see what you're doing. You guys may not see exactly what I'm doing, but I can see. And, and we're going to be doing overlapping, a lot of overlapping. So the colors, again, I have Shimmer Melon, which you can use Peachy Keen if you don't have that. Guava and Eucalyptus, along with my Storm truck. Okay, now I need to kind of keep going. I think I need to dry it a little bit. I know you're not you're not supposed to dry this. Maybe I'll try. Hold on, I have an idea. Let me stick this to my table. Let me dry it. I think I should have waxed in between, but I didn't, but it's going to be okay. All right, now we're going to put this back down. We're going to layer some more flowers. Right here. Oops. That is not the color I want. I want the guava on the small ones. So we're just going to go around this whole truck and fill it in with flowers. I think I can lay this down and get it. And then I'm just sticking it to the front of my table um, so I can peel it up. I think this little circle is going to be peachy or melon. I'm going to go ahead and Oh yeah, this is really going to be rustic because 
because of what's pulling up. I need to drink more. I know what hot pants are, but I've never worn them. <laughs> oh, the peachy keen, I know. Thanks, Kim. I think it's going to be. All right, we just need to get some more over here. I gotta turn it a little so I can get exactly what I want. There we go. Just a little bit of this peachy. And then a little bit of the guava. And then we'll need to get a little bit of green in there. <clears throat> so it's really like you can see what you're doing, but you really don't know what it's going to look like till you're completely done. And just going to keep going down the row. Changing out my color as I go. If I'm doing green, it's my eucalyptus color. Let me get some guava on here. I honestly don't know any of the colors that everyone else used. I know that several people have done this. Um, I just picked things that inspired me. I'm going to kind of peel it up this way, slow and careful. And then we're going to dry it. And I think the one that I saw was really, really, really sanded down to really have a lot of that brown showing. Awesome, Veronica. You will love, once you get going on everything, you're going to love, love, love it. this back and we'll do some more I know I need 
to get some there we need to get some of this guava up here And we'll do some green here and some guava up here. Some of it's overlapping, some of it's not, um, but I know it's hard for you at home to see. And we need some peach in the front. Let me. All right, I'm going to do part of that and part of this. Okay, then I'm so intense, so it's kind of hard to talk and do all of the things. We'll do a peach wheel here. I kind of want something up here as well. Let me find a little flower to do peachy. Uh-oh. What happened? I'm I have no I have no comments at all. What in the world? Like it completely logged me out. So if you're here, say hi. I'm sorry. I can't see anything. All right, that looks pretty good from my standpoint. Mary, I see you good, hello, yay. Um, actually, I'm not gonna wash this yet, but we still gotta do the words. I'm gonna peel this up carefully. And I can wash this for sure. So we'll get that in our tub. I have to work a little bit harder on this because we have some things that are dried. The chalk is dried a little bit on here. And some paste on the back. Okay. Not bad. It's coming off. It's just going to take me a few extra swipes to do the front and the back on this. Okay. Thank you, Janet. Hi, Veronica. All right, good, you're still there. Okay, let's kind of get this dried. Um, I'll put it on high so that, and then we're gonna do the wild and free 
on this wooden block. The shimmer takes a lot longer to dry. Have you guys noticed that? <laughs> I could, Jennifer. Hello? How do you say your name? Is it like Aliki? Al Al You've never done chocolate before. Well, you should jump into my group. Um... Tell me how to pronounce your name so I know. And you should jump into my group. You can just type add me and I can, I can add you in there so then you um, can check it out. Um, I feel like I need to do something more to this. But I'm not sure what. Let me... Let me look at it for a while and we'll do this first and I'm not going to forget to sand. Ali Key, that's what I thought. Awesome. Well, nice to meet you and thanks for joining. So I'm just going to sand this block of wood on the front side. I could make quicker work if I use my electric sander, but since I'm already going at it, hold on, it's time for a drink. <gasps> my watch just flew off. I hope it's not broken. Nope, it's not. I'm like an hour long. Friday to do some real chalking, man. I'm not getting very far. So I'm pulling out the big guns. Mm hmm. Give me a second on this. <laughs> Plug your ears just for a second. <laughs> show you what I noticed about this. This block has a lighter wood color under it. So if you want to make it a little bit of a darker distressing, this is pretty light. We would probably need to go in there with some um, stain or paint. I'm looking at what I have right next to me. Here's what we'll do. I've got my little color tray. I'm gonna grab, well, I'm gonna sneeze first. 
Oh my goodness, excuse me, sorry. So sorry. I'm gonna take just some of my storm paste and water this down, okay? So we got a real watery storm. Then I'm gonna grab just some paper towel. And I'm gonna crinkle it up. I'm just gonna kinda dip it into the watery mess. And I'm just gonna act, I'm just gonna use it as if it were a stain And I'm just going to wipe it on. Then I'm going to take a clean one and wipe it off. And I'll take a little water and just kind of like water that center down so that it's less dark there we go everybody catch that I just darkened up the edges okay because otherwise there wasn't a huge difference in the edges. All right, now I need to wipe off this corner because I got kind of messy. That one looks good. Oops, apparently got paste everywhere. Okay, so when I go to do those other sides, not a problem. Now we need to do wild and free on here. Wild. Okay, that should be good. And free. Um, I think we'll use storm. I don't know if you guys know I'm a huge fan of storm chalk based. <laughs> always have been. I think I probably always will be. It's one of my neutrals of choice. Okay, I think I got it. I'm just gonna hold this. I may have pushed that over too far. If that's the case, I'm just gonna add some floral to the end here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do free. Oh. Sorry, you guys can't see. There we go. <clears throat> no. 
if that will come out the little loopy on the arm, I'm not sure. But, might. Now, I'm gonna do this flower and the green because I kind of didn't line it up good. This is what happens when I drink in chalk. I get all kinds of bad um, judgment. <laughs> There is our free. Now I just have to do the and. And I made a little boo boo. What is wrong with me today? Sorry, Sky. And there is a chance that it could. The dust could get over there, but I think it's okay for today. All right, so that is there. Now, let me dry this, especially in the center where I need to put the and, and we're gonna do some flowers in there, and I might do a little tiny flower on the end to make it match. I can't, oh. That's so funny, Carol. I did not see your comment while I was figuring out what to do. Oh, Lisa, thank you. I appreciate it. I tried something different. <laughs> I love the truck too. Um. fuzz all the time just to keep the transfers um if you're talking about when I layered it over it I did not I don't think I fuzzed that one you probably could Okay, okay, okay. Now, we're going to do the middle. And this is going to be guava. This is the color of um, guava, guava chalk paste. And we'll use our eucalyptus for the leaves. Oops. I very well may have gone out of the lines right there. Wild and free. Now, let's do, oops, sorry guys. Let's do a little here and it's gonna overlap the W. I think it'll be pretty cute. Ah! Oh, 
that just dropped on my floor. It's okay. All righty then. Oh, it is super cute. I love how it overlapped on the W. Wild and free. Um, I think I'm gonna add just a hint of our peachy color down here. Okay, so we got a little hint of peachy and I think that is really good. Now this definitely needs to get washed. I'm gonna let it set for about 10 to 15 seconds to kind of loosen up all the dried chalk before I go in there and wash it off. This is gonna be the front and this will go on top. So you're kind of getting, you're kind of getting the image of what it's gonna be. Um, hi, Aaliyah, how are you? What does it mean to fuzz? So all of our transfers are sticky backed so that they stick to your project surface, but they're washable. So if it's brand new and we're working with wood or whatever, you want to fuzz the backs. You're gonna take a cloth like this and you stick the transfer down and it picks up some fuzz on the back so that it's a little less sticky so it doesn't stick so hard to your surface that it could peel up anything that's on the surface. It protects your transfer and your surface and so that's what fuzzing is. When you're done and you're washing off your transfer that fuzz washes right off with water. So good to know. All right I am going to get this all washed right now. Um, you got to do the dishes. So I'm just getting this clean as much as I can. Okay. Pretty good. So that's going to sit and dry. And every time you wash your transfer, you want to make sure that when you leave it to dry, that the sticky side is facing up. So when it does become um, dry, the sticky side comes back and it isn't sticking to anything. So let me move. So the only thing that I was thinking that I might want to do is like gloss. I, I kind of wanted to like go over some of the truck parts with like a something that will make it look even more rustic like a dune or something, but, you know, I'm not sure. All right, so let me get this dry and I will show you everything else. Oh, Gail, yes, hi. Um, so here's the deal. I said this at the beginning of the show, that I got this, I was inspired by someone who did a very, very similar thing. Um, I didn't watch her do the project. It's one of my uplines, Brenda. I didn't watch her do the project, but it she used this and it was really cool. So I was like, I wanna try it and do it my way. Um, so, here we go. So this is part of the vintage truck add-on cutouts. This is the vintage truck cutout. He's driving uphill. Don't worry. Um, and so I can do this side 
and then I can do this side with something totally different and I can switch it around like maybe for summer or something because this can stay all spring long, right? Thank you. All right, it is very hippie vibe, yes. So um, what I wanna tell you is we still do have a box from yesterday. The um, He Has Risen little project that you can grab um, anytime today throughout the weekend. Just type box into the comments. So it's still gonna be valid for a while. And um, if you're new, this, the flower and wild and free is our club couture transfer. So if you are not a club member, type club in the comments to get the information on joining our club. Um, you can type add me to jump into my VIP group, my free customer group. And, oh, it's okay. It wasn't wet. It's the bottom one that's still wet. And if you would like more information about becoming a designer, <laughs> two hands, type team in the comments and I will send you a link to join my opportunity group so that you can check it out. Um, goodness gracious. This is a fun, fun project. There is a pin post if you want to get the wooden pieces and the truck and some of the chalk paste. Um, I have chalk paste colors in stock if they are not in stock online, so you can reach out to me for that. Um, cheers for Friday. And yeah, Gail, I'm actually thinking of doing a summer like um, uh, um, uh, patriotic on the other side. So stay tuned because I will do the other side. Yeah, so when you log in as your club member and you go to the Club Couture promo and you select the kit you want for 25% off, it will automatically show 25% off. And um, so I think that's it for today. What a great day. It was a long project, but I think it's pretty cute. Pretty cute. And actually, I'm a little inspired to work some more with these now that I did this one. Um, so it's a good thing I have a bunch of them in stock <laughs> so that I can do more with the trucks. Um, okay. You guys have an amazing... Oh, uh, Leaky, let me tell you that when you type into the comments, it's going to go in your Facebook Messenger and it will be a message from me, Creative Sarah. So if you aren't connected with me yet, it might go into your, I don't know if it'll go into spam or anything, but um, look for a message from me through Facebook Messenger, okay? Cheers, you guys. It's Friday. We're making homemade pizzas for dinner. Yum, I love that. And um, uh, I don't know what else. <laughs> we got through our first full week back since Maui. And I'm happy to say I survived and I'm still kicking and um, I'll be back here on Monday live and in person at 8 p.m. in the evening Eastern time. So 8 p.m. on Monday. I will see you back here with a brand new bundle box that you are going to love. Have a good, good. I love Fridays too. Do we seal it? Um, you absolutely can seal anything that's on a wood or any surface, but you don't have to, especially if it's going in your house and you know that you're not going to, like, because it's chalk, it's semi-permanent, but the only way to get it off literally is to scrub it off with water. So if you want to seal it, you can. Otherwise, you can touch it. Um, you don't want to scratch it, but you can touch it um, and it's pretty safe to be out on display. Um, if you have little ones around who are going to grab it and like, you know, whatever they do to things, uh, you could seal it. Um, a great sealant I like to use is the Rust-Oleum um, clear sealant. And my... 
I'm looking for my bottle and I can't even, I don't even know what I did with it. Huh. I don't even know where it is. It's probably down there where I can't see. Um, but anyway, you can spray it with a clear coat, clear sealant, whatever you want. Alrighty. All right, you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you Monday. Bye everybody. Thanks for watching. Oh, make sure you're following and subscribing.